Hello, welcome back. I come over to my grinder. I was gonna clean it all up. And I pulled the lever on the uh, auto oil oiler. And it seems I can't pull it out. And it, it, it won't go back in. It's like something is stuck. I'm gonna have to pull the manifold and maybe even that little tank that's back here. Uh, let's get into that. I'm Glenn Wachowski, and you're watching Glenn Now on YouTube. That's the reservoir, and what I'm talking about is I can't pull this out any further, and it doesn't want to go in. Uh, most likely, I don't know. Well, and the res the uh, manifold I'm talking about is right back here behind the machine. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of had to tilt the camera. Uh, I'm going to start by removing that uh, right here. Take that off the tank and see if it's the tank itself. If it's the tank itself, I'll just remove that tank and uh, flush it out. Hopefully that's what it is. I'm going to remove this one line that goes to the manifold. It's an 8 millimeter. This is made in China. I think if you watch the first video on uh, Surface Grinder Fix, I kind of point that out. It's a Harbor Freight made in China. And I think I also said something about one of the things I did like about it is it had this auto uh, oiler. Not really an auto oiler, but it oils all the points at one time. Holy moly. Nothing's happening. It's completely disconnected from the hoses. Well, that's kind of good. It's like... Yeah, and oil's coming out of this line. I'm going to pull that tank off, off of here. Okay, that looks like it's a five millimeter. <sighs> looks like one. And three down here. Not very tight. Okay, there does seem to be some oil in there. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, remove those screws there pull the whole front off try not to dump oil all over anyway i really don't know what's wrong with it all i know is i pull that handle it doesn't really want to come out any further and it doesn't want to go in automatically Doing like a trial and error here. I guess when you have your own machines, you kind of have to do that unless you're you have an overabundance of money that you can just have other people do it. Uh, well, the not spill the oil part. I already blew. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of oil in there. Looks like I'm gonna have to take this all off to see why that piston doesn't go in and out. This is the inlet that pumps through there, around here, into here where it comes and then goes to the manifold. Doesn't look like that's clogged on the end. That piston needs to be stuck. It looks like I put that in a vise and turn that. Maybe I will get it out. I need to get that small eight millimeter wrench and take that off. Seems to have, I wonder if it's this line right here, that back on and see what happens. I'll tell you one thing, I made a nice mess here. Pumping it out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Watch it pump out of here as it goes back in. Okay, that doesn't seem to be a problem. I'm gonna hook it back up and see what happens. After I clean this mess, I'm going to try and put this tank back on and hook up that one manifold tube. See if it's any better than it was. I don't know if it will be. All I know is it seemed to be stuck and after I spilled the oil all over the place and messed around with it, it uh, seem to become unstuck. Hopefully that was all it was. Trying to force the oil through the tubes. I 
guess that's all it was. That plunger was stuck. It's going. And all the lines are filled again. Oh yeah, I could see, I don't know if you could see it on the camera. There's oil dripping down here now. Okay. Okay. Uh, it seems to be pumping now. It was dripping oil out of off the ways, off of here. Uh, I don't know why it was stuck, but I'm glad it's working again. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more along the sides here, the table a little bit, get some of this grit off and call it good. Uh, It works. I'm glad it works. I'm going to call that good. And until next time, enjoy.